ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashafi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today Since 1972 onward, this process has been on, and recently, this issue has came up for the <coughs> reservation policy within the state, where the matters of roster has come up. In Kasi, we used to say that this this is like the Xingam, mo kalong bu Xingam. Kabang empat teruk, kam lele mentah lah teruk yang kesingap, lah syadai ngap lebar. So, when we talk about roster, habis yang simpentah lor kemat ekran melawan rah dau MLA ke UDP, nama keluar konstituensi baru nik tan ling dot tongkar, lor kemat kebiar day bagi jeng penslam ke district selection committee, ban penlong yang examin tongkam bagi jeng penslam ban penbenar yang result jang ke examin. UMLA ke UDP ni orang buat konstituensi buat Meryl Bonds im. Ulu orang bagi jeng pun kik win ni ke reservation policy. Kalau kong mulai tenruh hakak kesingap na marbah kami sa ke rooster system. Ulu kong tak tiak da kaktian khasi da ke boong bahabam pat tenruh ikak kesingap om lele dari sisi mula tenruh ungap udai lut ya barah. Ubat Meryl Bond ulu orang bahar ribuhoi distrik kidan kong bahar pusan ni arpun rutli kita nak sorkar bat na kini kidan tang kong basaw ni santli kita nak kibala ban penbek ya ke rooster kat baki way pat kem lah. Ulo ang bola tip shy bagi DSC kam don nong tre ban lea ikini kikam kum ta ulo kentu ya ketanat personal bagi di ban shimkia ban pin bit keluar kat bala ya kini kakam namar baka kata iki samla wat kam wat jam. Ulo pin kin mawa bagi don kikam ki bagi samla kila tap nadu usnem ala jaka kendai bagi kila dap toa examin ru hindre ke result haduk mentaru kampat mi. Shua ban pin kut ika jengkran uwa amiral bon siim mula ay jimwat ika sorkar. Bana ka bintak ikam ki bila ikhapo ke distrik. Ka sorkar ka di ban tap tang iki beri ki bishong basa hai kitu ki distrik. Namar la da aylat iki wikan ee abha iki samla ki bana nang kendong. Bani tinjuk bor wiki samla ki bana sor. Nalor kata ula ay jimwat ru ika sorkar baha baka penlong iki person interview. Ka di ban bo di ki CCTV kamera. Kenam bakan long ka bakhoj baki to ki bari hok ban yok ki di ban yok. Honorable Deputy Speaker Sir. Thank you for allowing me to take part in the short position discussion with regard to the delay in implementation in the district selection committee in different districts of the state. To be brief, uh, we understand this is the issue which linked directly with employment within the state where our youth have been suffering and they're having a sleepless night as a legislator, we keep on receiving phone calls and letters, and we are deeply concerned for this issue. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Since 1972 onward, this process has been on, and recently, this issue has came up for the reservation policy within the state where the matters of roster has come up. In Kasi, we used to say that this, this is like a Xingam, mo kalong bu Xingam. Kabang empat teruk, kam lele, mentah lah teruk yang Xingam, lah syadai ngap lah barok. So, when we talk about roster, I've been in touch with the officer at the district level. But I think our colleague have rightly said, it is not easy for the line department or even the DSC to prepare a roster at this point of time. 
But still, <coughs> we have to go through this. And the issue now is that when we had a conversation with the official at the district, the problem is how to prepare a roster. If the line department has been entrusted, after that they will submit to the department and then to the personnel to get approval. Or if the DSC has to prepare and send for approval to the personnel. This has to be clear. But as far as I'm concerned, the manpower within the district selection committee, they don't have. They hardly have, apart from the chairman, the deputy commissioner, the member secretary at the rank of ADM, one UD, one LD, and few fourth grade at the district level. To go through and to compile, this is a huge exercise that has to be undertaken. So if the department, the line department will prepare. My point here is that personal department has to handhold the concerned department at the district to prepare the roster and send to the directorate for further approval. Because it is not easy, slight mistake, anybody can go to the court with regard to the reservation, especially to the 80% combined at the district level. So, sir, for example, now with regard to Ribhoi district, hardly there are 25, 26 departments, hardly four to five departments, they are prepared with full roster. The rest, they are not prepared. So, my point here is that the personal department has to handhold at the earliest because this issue has been pending. If I'm not wrong to say, many districts in the state where the last recruitment at the district level is way four or five years back, 2019, before COVID. There are multiple reasons. Exam has been written since 2019. And now those candidates, aspiring candidates, they are eagerly waiting. They concern district selection committee. They cannot publish their result for written test because the roster is not ready. So this is an uh, utmost important issues that the government has to look into. And this is the concern of each and every youth in our state. Especially, they are waiting for the new recruitment. I'm happy that the government has taken up another initiative, Mr. Speaker, sir, with regard to the police or the health or the education department, they are having their different recruitment board to expedite appointment of different vacancies within different departments. Having said so, the issue here is that the personnel has to handhold at the earliest so that, especially for the new recruitment, those youth of our state which are having over age, so that it won't be a problem in days to come. So with regard to when we talk about district selection committee, apart from which is the burning issue that we are going through now, I hope and I sincerely appeal that the government through you, Mr. Speaker, sir, to the Honorable Chief Minister, that the personnel department will take serious note on this. I know serious issue has been taken in the past also, but this time around so that our youth won't suffer. With regard to the issue in the district selection committee, I have few issues, sir. In different DSC, whenever there are vacancy of five posts or ten posts, applicant will be in large number, ranging from 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, like that. It is not easy for the district selection committee also to conduct. Now the issue at the district level is that the space to conduct examination, a written test. This is the concern because automatically they have to get the space either in colleges or in school to conduct written tests. Especially during school time, they cannot except Saturday. Suppose conduct written exam for 10,000 or 12,000 or 15,000 applicants, it will take a long time. 
So my point here is that to find ways and means to curve this issue and at the same time to find out how to get the space, especially for written tests for the aspiring candidate. Number two, sir, to ease this issue, because as I have said in my opening remark, the different district selection committee at the district level, they don't have an adequate manpower, the strength of the staff. So to shortcut the process, if the personnel or in the purview of the DSC, if it is admitted that the document and all can be checked after the written exam be conducted, so that it wouldn't take much time for the staff and the official within the DSC. They can check the document later on and then they can call for a personal interview, those who will qualify with proper document. So, number three is that to get a fair interview, especially a personal interview, I would urge through this short duration discussion through you, sir, that a CCTV camera be installed at the time of personal interview at the district level. So, another issue is that when we talk about the memorandum, or ab about the office memorandum that has been uh, published on the 14th of June 2023, I fully endorse with what the mover have already said, Barinik, about the last para in uh, the conducting exam at the district level. I'm slight concerned, apart from those last four lines, I'm slight concerned about those two lines which says, while selecting candidate to such post, preference should be given to local candidates residing permanently in the district in which the vacancy occur. I'm concerned about this because, for example, in the Rivoy district, while conducting exam or not, we have seen as per record in the past of our young youth, our youth from the district, they hardly cannot compete with the student or with the applicant who come from other part of the district. Let me be very frank and blunt on this. On behalf of the youth of Riboy, I would like to stress, or in other district also, East Giant Hills or South Garo Hills or Southwest Khasi Hill, where whether it is permit or not in the purview of DC or in the recruitment board, but I would like to suggest that applicant, the application should be accept only for the candidate residing permanently within the district. Because now if we give preference also, we can give them preference provided they will pass in the written test. If they fail in the written test, they cannot be given preference. You cannot give preference to the one who failed. Preference can be given in personal interview and so on. So this also has to be very clear on behalf of the people of Fribhoi district. I regard that we are still backward district compared to other districts in the state as a whole. So I would like to urge through you, sir, my humble and sincere request is that, that the combined 80% should be reserved for the local resident of that particular district so that it will be an avenue, an opportunity for them so that they can compete and to get a job in different. I'm not saying that by doing so, it will address all the issues of unemployment, no. Hardly, hardly few will get, hardly 5 to 10 percent of the youth who have passed their degree and pursued different studies. But at least this is the point that we want to stress to you, sir, through this short duration discussion. So I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity. So I would like to resume my seat. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Citizen first is our motto. We believe that our citizens need to be connected with government for faster and efficient service delivery. I am happy to announce 
that we are coming up with a dedicated CN Helpline call center.